Hey everybody, how we doing? Uh, today we're going to talk about the subject of is the juju swing closed going back? Um, we're starting to grow globally, which is awesome, which means new eyes, new people seeing us for the first time. So we're getting some questions that we've had in the past from smaller groups in a larger size now, right? So let's talk about it, right? I, when I first developed this for myself in 2002, the first question I had was, is this position closed? Because everything I understood about a traditional golf swing where you set your hands, this situation right here where the bottom groove is essentially pointing straight to the sky, kind of like Justin Thomas tries to get to in his backswing, that was square from everything that I understand today in a traditional golf swing, that's pretty square. Maybe modern times have gotten a little more there, but you get the idea. So everything I understood about this meant that at the bottom, the club face was very close, right? And so when I first started tinkering with step one, because you have to remember that's all I did for six weeks was step one, because I didn't have anybody helping me. This wasn't something I saw. I was just trying something different. And so when I got to this position, which felt amazing, I assumed, I assumed the club head was, I was gonna hit myself in the leg, right? But what happened was, as I transitioned and changed directions, I realized the club was actually always square. And so, let's talk about that in a little bit of detail and how that works, right? I realized that when you do the juju swing correctly, when we don't add any setting, any rolling, any manipulation of the club face, when we take this golf club back properly, and as we go back and then up, right? As we go back and then up properly to step one, we're essentially just taking our setup to different checkpoints in the golf swing. The club is always square. It's not closed. It's actually always square. And so once I realized that, then I learned that I can hit this golf ball any direction I want, and all I have to do is change my path and my release point with the same exact backswing. Traditional golf, if I wanted to hook a golf ball before I develop this swing, I would have to get my stance prepared for a hook, get my shoulders prepared, make sure I'm going to be way into out, super early release, and exaggerate all these factors. Same thing with a slice, I would do the exact opposite. And so now, I realize with the juju swing, because I'm always square, if I come right on the back of the golf ball, I'm gonna hit a pretty straight golf shot. Very little movement, because I know my release point. For me, my release point is just outside my left knee. Most Juju Swing family members are somewhere in this area, and, we, and you're gonna find that on your own as you're practicing, kind of your release point. Once you find it, you'll have it forever. And so, with my stock release point, with a perfect Juju backswing, I'm gonna hit a pretty straight golf shot. And then I realized, as I started doing shows and I was traveling, what if I could show how easy it is to shape the golf ball with the juju swing? So what I would do is, at the end of my shows, we would get a random person in the audience, four or five people. I would look the other way, and I would let the crowd choose random people so they knew it wasn't staged. And then I would have them come up, I would let them decide amongst themselves who was gonna go first. And they had to give me a little time in the backswing. So at some point going back, somewhere in here, in the middle of my backswing, somebody would call out a shot shape. Low left, high right, low hook, low pull slice, low push hook, right? And because the juju swing is always square, I was able to do that on command. Juju's now able to do that if we give her enough time, right? I got to the point where I could almost wait to the top because like I say, I call this the Statue of Liberty because it looks like it, but also because there's freedom. Traditional golf swing, it's tight. It feels very tight. I'm still coming off my first back surgery, so I probably look a little bit shaky. I'm not gonna hit a lot of balls or any balls because I don't wanna hurt myself, but I did wanna answer these questions. And so this position is the Statue of Liberty, right? It looks like it and it has freedom. And that freedom allowed me in my shows, low left, all I would do is just change my path when I released 
maybe sometimes a little body shift, a little body shift forward or back. If somebody wanted me to hit a big slice from the top, I would just let my hands drift over the top, come over it, delay my release and get a Tiger Woods windshield wiper follow through. If somebody wanted a big hook, I'd go to the top, big push hook. I would come way underneath, release way early and hit a big old hook. If they wanted a high shot, I would keep my weight back. If they wanted a low shot, I would get my weight more forward. And so I can hit any shot, and so can you, from the same exact position going back by simply changing our path and our release point with the juju swing. You don't have to pre-plan for this elaborate shot like you do in traditional golf. All we're going to do is, if this is a perfect step one, I want to hit a straight ball from here, I'm gonna come right down to the back of the golf ball. If I wanna hit a little bit of a draw, I'm gonna let it loop slightly inside, release a little bit earlier. If I wanna hit a fade from this same spot, I'm gonna let my hands drift that way, come over a little bit, release a little bit later, and hang on a little bit. And so from the same exact position, we can hit any golf shot. So, and that's because the club is always square. In traditional golf, teaching pros out there and, and students of the game, I understand that this is closed, right? And at the top of a traditional golf swing, that would be incredibly closed. That looks like DJ, right? That club is, it's very close. I understand that. Not in the juju swing. Not in the juju swing. We're just taking our setup with zero manipulation to different checkpoints. That is dead square. That is dead square. It's gonna come and return back to square every single time. And so I want to address that. I want to talk about how we shape the, the golf ball a little bit with the juju swing. And obviously I want to address, is the juju swing closed or what's going on there? So I welcome all of you that are, that are joining us and finding us. We've had millions of views in the last couple of months. I thank you very much. I've been waiting 20 years for the golf world to find us. And I'm so excited that you're here and I want to keep growing with you. We have a Facebook page. It's a private group. It's only for the Juju Swing and the interest in the Juju Swing. People post videos from the membership site. They have questions. I try to respond as much as I can there. We have a membership site, which you hear me mention often. I spent hundreds of hours developing that so you could learn the Juju Swing on your own if you didn't want to come and pay for lessons or do remote lessons with me. It's affordable and it's detailed. And you will learn this swing if you go through that course properly. And so, welcome to the Juju Swing world. If you've been here a while, thank you for staying with us. While we were small, we're still kind of small, but we're growing very fast. And so, I'm super excited to see where we can all go together. And um, I hope you guys have a great weekend.